Shalom, Koholoyam, Wahawa, La Yahawa, Baha Simi Hawasai, Baha Shem, Rakaha Kwadash. Double honors are definitely due unto the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the elders who rule and teach well. Salutations, peace, and blessings to the Most High Powers elect. The Bayafta Wada, the House of David. I'm Shamar Moth, back with another video. Prophecy. Okay, going into an article. All right, um, on uh, blacklistnews.com, uh, and I believe this was posted, uh, let's see, yeah, it was published yesterday, okay, today is uh, September 23rd, 2022, okay, uh, this was put up again yesterday, September 22nd, 2022, the year of the turn up, and that's what's going on this earth, all throughout the earth, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, at the end of the day is turning things up, man. All right, the heat's being turned up. Okay, here comes the squeeze. All right, it's getting ready to get tighter. All right, and this devil's getting ready to come down. All right, on the people, on the sheeple with great wrath, primarily his people. All right, you so called blacks, Hispanics, natives, all right, and Israelite foreigners. All right, you are the Lord's chosen people. And Esau, Edom, the devil, okay, beginning with his elites, the Amalekites, the uh, small hats. From the Israeli state, the bastards who dwell in Ashdod, all right, pursuant to uh, Zechariah 9 and 6, all right, they're getting ready to uh, unleash hell on you, man, okay? Um, and the end of uh, and, and, and the end of it all, Salakia, the end of Babylon the Great is going to be uh, nuclear destruction, all right? Let's say it the Holy Scriptures. All throughout the Scriptures, you know, you have... The prophet speaking about arrows being shot off, you know, which an arrow is a metaphor. Okay. Ultimately. All right. When you see arrow, ultimately arrows being shot off. Okay. Those are the ICBMs, all right? The intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now you have Israelite camps out there and the men who have been teaching, you know, okay. For two decades, in some cases talking about, how there's no such thing as a nuclear missile. Okay, well, we're going to see, man, because uh, John the Revelator spoke about them. All right, again, all the prophets did. Even uh, Enoch, all right, the seventh from Adam, talked about the nukes, all right, which also, when you go into Zechariah, the 14th chapter, you know, it's talking about the plague. Matter of fact, um, let's get that. I had. Lined up second after 16, but we all know how the spirit operates. You you can't put your how about you shy in a in a in a box, man. All right. Um Zechariah 14 talking about the plagues. All right. The the uh the plague, all right. The plague of plagues, okay? It's gonna be these ICBMs, man. All right, Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And in that particular scripture, okay, Jerusalem is referring to you Israelites, all right, the 12 tribes of uh, uh, Israel, all right, Yasharala, okay? All the people, you know, have fought against the Israelites, all right? First and foremost, beginning with uh, uh, Esau, Edom, all right? It says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Okay, so they're going to be burned up, man. All right, they're going to be burned up. Now, going into the arrows, you know, the plague of the, of, of the nukes, man. They're, they're coming, all right? Russia's getting, uh, 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 hey, the, the Medes are being, uh, 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 you know, stirred up, okay? Gog and Magog, all right? Russia. All right, Vladimir Putin, they're all being roused up, man. Okay, so this thing is getting ready to go down. Now we understand there's going to be an order to it. You know, there has to be other things happening, all right, prior to this, you know, going down. But we're right at that doorstep, man. All right, Second Ezra chapter 16. I'm just going to get right to the point. All right, arrows, man. All right, Second Ezra chapter sixteen, verse twelve: The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof; the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, 
and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Now, what kind of arrow, what kind of normal arrow can be shot into the ends of the world? OK, this is why, you know, only only certain men all right, should be out teaching. All right, the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh sanctioned and commissioned by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh through the Rokak with us, through the Holy Spirit. Okay, beginning with the apostles of the great millstone, all right, down to the elder bishops, etc., and to every last man singing this new song correctly, talking about nuclear destruction. That's what's coming, man. Okay? Now, you can be out here, uh, you know, uh, getting ready for the college football tomorrow and getting ready for an NFL games on Sunday and not giving a damn. And that's two thirds of our people, you know, the house of Saul. OK, but those of us in the truth, all right, those of us who have been uh, 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 brought back from the dead, literally, all right, in a spiritual sense. OK, we're talking about these things, man. You know, the men of the Lord are standing on their watchtowers. We're, 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 we're blowing a trumpet. This is what's getting ready to come. Okay. For strong is his right hand, verse 13, again, the men of the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Who's the right hand of Yahweh? Yahweh Shai. All right. And what does the scripture say he's coming back to do in uh, Revelation, the 19th chapter? He's coming back to judge and make war. He's coming back in the midst of World War III. Okay. It says, behold, the plagues are sent. So this has already happened. All right, and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled, verse 15, and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, verse 16, returns not backward. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. All right. And then Ezra goes into, uh, hey, he's pronouncing woe upon himself. He's pronouncing destruction upon himself because he's seeing these visions through the spirit. He's seeing these things happen. And he says, who will deliver me in those days? And that that one verse right there alone proves reincarnation. Ezra is back on the scene, standing on the four corners somewhere with a heavy spirit on him, prophesying. OK, probably going into uh, Second Ezra 16 every day. And you can go into this chapter every day. You can go into Second Ezra 15 every day. You know, it's a second Ezra 16, Matthew, the 24 chapter, you know, just to name a few Revelation, the 18 chapter. OK, but this this and many more. OK. But this this uh this is getting tense here, okay? Between uh, uh Gog and Magog, all right, the Medes, Gog and Magog, the Russians, okay, and uh, getting tense between the Russians, so called, and uh, uh, uh Babylon the Great and the EU, all right, all right, EU the EU being the ten horns on the beast, all right, which is NATO, all right, the whole system, all right, the whole beast system. Okay, because the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to use Russia, all right, as the main uh, nation, okay, pursuant to Ezekiel 38 chapter, to come against this whore, man. All right, and and, and the EU, uh, even EU powers, okay, who were once confederate with Babylon the Great, are going to turn on America. Okay, Medvedev says nukes can be used to defend new Russian territories. Warns hypersonic missiles can hit the EU. And U.S. and they most certainly can. All right. Um, let's see where I want to start. This is this is like a two minute read. This is not. Uh, all right, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev said Thursday that strategic nuclear weapons can be used to defend. The Donbass, republics, and other territories accepted into Russia and warned the retired idiots with general stripes at NATO that hypersonic missiles can reach targets in Europe and in the United States. Of course they can. All right. And these elites know and these world powers know. All right. You know, the truth, man. Okay. It's just you sheeple. They have, you know, uh, uh, and even again. Even the false prophets and false shepherds among our people, you know, it's just it's y'all who who uh, are, aren't taking heed to this, who aren't believing this, who aren't trusting in the words of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, those of us in the truth, you know, we know how real this is, man. 
All right. Um, Dmitry Medvedev, deputy chairman of the Security Council of the Russian Federation, warned that hypersound could quickly reach targets both in the U.S. and Europe. In his opinion, all residents of the NATO state should listen to Russia to understand that Russia has chosen its own path. The Russian authorities have decided to incorporate the republics of Donbass and other territories into the country. Well, that's that's right out of Ezekiel the 38th chapter because see, what's happening is the Most High is putting a spirit, or the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh is rousing up Vladimir Putin, and he's going to turn Russia back into that old USSR powerhouse, man. All right, that 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 old Russian bear is getting ready to be you know uh, revived, man. Matter of fact, let's uh, let's go get it. In Ezekiel 38. Straight out of the scriptures, man. Now, the Bible covers everything, you know, and it's the only book that speaks about prophecy. That's why you Israelites can trust it because no other spiritual document, so called, or spiritual record is out there that speaks to the things that are happening right now. <laughs> prophecy proves that the Holy Bible, all right, is, 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 is sure. Okay. Scripture says the words of, uh, of the Lord are faithful and true, man. All right. This is Ezekiel 38 and uh, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. So we're, we're prophesying, all right, against Russia. All right. Yeah, we, it may sound like we're cheerleader, cheerleading Slakia. For Vladimir Putin, you know, when we do lessons, but we're not cheerleading for Vladimir Putin. He's an Edomite. He's just being used, okay, to okay to do this mighty work, okay, which is again lead the charge against Babylon the Great, all right, the whore, aka America, all right. So we're prophesying against Russia. Hey, you know, the Russians are going into captivity as well, all right. It says, so-called Russians, all right. It says and say. Thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, behold, I'm against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Jabal. So see, the most high is against you. All right, which means, you know, as it runs down, okay, we're against you. All right, because we're against who the Lord's against. All right, it says, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handling swords or swords, another word, all right, for ICBM, okay? Swords, arrows, all right, horsemen. This is going into the nuclear destruction that, the, that Russia is going to bring. And also it's going into uh, uh, how these satellites that broke off from the Soviet Union years ago, all right, in the early 90s, are coming back, man. All right? Here's who's coming with them. Persia, okay, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer, which... Uh, that's a turkey, okay, and all his bands, the house of Togomar of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. And it's, again, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, all the nations of the earth that ultimately come against uh, Babylon the Great. All right. But Russia is a key, is the, is the key player. All right. And it's coming uh, 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 World War Three. All right. Which is going to culminate. With the nations being destroyed, with the armies of, uh, 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 of these other nations being destroyed in the Valley of Yahweh Shapat, the Valley of the Lord's Judgment, the so-called Middle East. All right. All right. The new regions will be protected with the help of those mobilized. Russia can use any weapon, including strategic ones, so no need to intimidate Moscow. The above are all the conclusions that Deputy Chairman of the Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, has made from Putin's address to the nation on September 21st when he announced partial call-up. All right. Referendums will be held in the Donbass republics and other territories will be accepted into Russia. The protection of all the territories that have joined with, will be significantly strengthened by the Russian armed forces. So Russia's getting ready, man. You know, and again, it's not, you know, this is just the Lord. All right. Because the, the scripture says in the book of Proverbs, I believe, 21, that the heart of the king is in the hand of Yahweh Basham Yahushah. I believe that's. Proverbs, the 21st chapter that goes into that. So this is the Lord stirring it up, man. Turning it up. All right. Um, no need to continue any further. The point's been made. World War III, the third world is coming quickly. So if you're one of the Lord's people and you have not done so already, you need to repent. 
all right, and believe this gospel, all right. Lord willing, I don't want to desire you edified. With that, I want to say something.